Uh, I got into it in second grade. My best friend's mom played and she told me I should try it. So I played starting then and then I went to my first university was American University and then I transferred to Westchester University where we won the national championship. Um, I started Philip Philaki in second grade and then I decided that I hated it and I was never going to play it again. And then in fifth grade, I was like, oh, I'll try again. And then I haven't stopped from there. And then played in high school, went to Westchester, played for four years, and then obviously ended up winning the championship with Kat. And then we decided we wanted to play some more. So we came here. <laughs> um, I studied respiratory care, which is basically a nurse for your lungs. And I got my degree in that. Um, I studied art and elementary education. COVID being around at the moment, do you think that you'll study a bit more into that and how it can impact people now? Or? No, definitely. Yeah, we have, um, so respiratory therapists, what we call them, are really needed um, to treat COVID. It's, we're basically like one of the top ones up there. So I'm sure I'm going to be learning exactly how to do it when I start to work. Definitely. And Kat, what made you want to look like, what made you want to study um, elementary and to be a teacher? Where did that come from? Um, I don't know. I guess when I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher, like right out of high school. I wanted to teach little kids and I babysat a lot. So I was like, I can do this. <laughs> and kind of just, I'm doing childhood studies here, but I more of want to be a coach once I get my master's. Nice. I'm doing the childhood studies. Um, I don't know if I actually can use that to teach in America because I don't have an education major. So it gets me a master's. <laughs> Um, well, I am studying public health and I'm hoping it can help me climb the ladder in the hospital because once you're a respiratory therapist, it's hard to go any higher because that's just as high as you can go. So hopefully with public health, I can try to have some more options if I get bored. <laughs> yeah. I think mostly like for a new experience, like a lot of my friends from home actually are from overseas so when they played they're like you really need to try going overseas it's different um they kind of said overall playing is different which i'm now noticing a little bit from practice um we noticed there's a lot of sheep that just <laughs> roam cows walk on the streets yeah there's a lot of at home it's all like fenced in yeah the animals and don't go anywhere and they're not dyed colors yeah <laughs> There's more yeah. sheep in Wales than there are people. I thought that was the coolest fun yeah. fact I heard so far. I keep telling all my friends from the States. I was like, guess what? There's more sheep than people. <laughs> and I, I just think it's hilarious. So we go, we go to a place called Ogmore, which is quite close to you guys. And every time we go around there, we have to stop to let sheep cross the road. Don't we? They just walk in front of your car. They don't care. Definitely healthier. Like it doesn't have as much flavor at home, but yeah. that's because everything at home is fake. greasy and <laughs> fake and fried. Yeah. So we have to get used to eating healthy. Gwyn. Oh, that's very good. I think Kat is like straight yeah. on. I feel like I've seen Gwyn. this word. Yeah. This is this is quite embarrassing. The last time, Kat, your pronunciation was better than ours, and <laughs> we are Welsh. So Gwyn is a colour. It can also be a name for boys or sort of a male name in Wales. Do you have any, can you guess what, the, what Gwyn is a colour? Green. Yeah, I would say. So that door behind you, what colour is the door? White. White. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Gwyn is white in Welsh. God. Honestly, you're showing us how we're doing. 
Yep, so that's the <laughs> on. So, so when you think of British people and they eat a certain thing, what is the first like stereotypical thing that comes to your head? What eats it? So if you think of a stereotypical British dish, it's fish and chips. Yep, yes. Claudion is our chips. But you call them french fries, don't you? Yeah, we say french yeah. fries. I'm just getting harder and harder. <laughs> it only has one. Quid. 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 What's Harry Potter? What's what? Have you watched Harry Potter? Yeah. We're in the midst of watching that right now. Oh. We're on. <laughs> what is Hedwig? Hedwig? Did you, did you say what's Hedwig? Yeah. yeah. Is that the owl? So yep. That is Goody. Oh, I love so the Welsh word for owl is Goody Who. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> goody who? Where is there an O? Where is there an O? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Right. Casanuid. Casanuid. Yep, not far off. So that is Casanuid. So a double D in the Welsh language makes a sound as if you were going to say the. So cast now with.